you guys, it's Emily and today's video I'm gonna be doing a updated everyday makeup routine video I guess, I don't know, just the everyday makeup I have been doing lately for the past like two weeks or so because I've really been liking it but before we get into the video, I'm gonna do a little sponsored thing um, because Dossier sent me some um, perfumes and I really like Dossier and um, yeah, anyways, they sent me two perfumes to review for you guys and one of these perfumes I already have and I ran out because it smells so good I love the perfumes, everything about this brand I really like so um, yeah, um, also they are having a Black Friday sale so this is a really good opportunity to check them out if you haven't before this is what the perfumes come in they also have unisex scents, colognes, stuff like that um, but yeah, you open up the box, looks like this, comes with a little note card um, and this is what the bottle looks like, perfume um, basically Dossier is like a, um, they have designer scents but like at a more reasonable price and also their prices are a lot better and um, their whole like story purpose, um, like everything about their brand is just really good so um, anyways, this is the little card that it came with. This one is Oriental Oak Moss and um, these cards are really cool because it tells you all the notes that are in it. Um, top notes, middle notes, base notes. You can pause to read this if you want. Um, but this scent is inspired by Chanel, Coco, Mademoiselle. Um, and I'm going to read you guys their little thing here that says, um, Our mission is to deliver, deliver the highest quality luxury inspired for fragrances at a fair price giving the freedom to explore new scents um and then you can basically just try them out if you want if you don't like it they will give you a free uh return and um you know refund and everything like that so that's really cool um but yeah these are what the bottles look like i really love these bottles i always talk about the packaging of this brand it's so nice um because if you have a lot of perfumes by this brand they all look really nice and you can display them well they're just very aesthetically pleasing um also has the notes here tells you what it is this smells so good and clean um again this is inspired by chanel they have all the different kinds of scents that you could think of like designer gucci louis vuitton ysl pretty much anything you can think of they probably have um usually their prices are around 25 30 40 dollars in that price range i think it's a really good price for the scent that is inspired by um and this isn't like a knockoff brand they just do inspired scents they're just like kind of dupes and like i said their mission and everything is a lot better um i know they're a lot more like eco-friendly i guess so yeah that is the first one this one smells really good i have never smelled this one before but i really do like it and then the next one that we have is um this one is one of my favorite scents ever like luxury perfume um that's what it looks like again composed to read but this one is fruity magnolia this one is inspired by versace bright crystal which this one is one of my favorite scents ever um it smells so good yeah, it smells so good. Um, again, this is what the bottle looks like. The tops are a magnet. So anyways, right now they are having a Black Friday sale. And I really suggest um, if you need a good, like, affordable um, Christmas present, it is a good time to go stock up. Or even if you're wanting to try out, like, a designer scent and you don't want to pay the price of that, um, they're having a Black Friday sale and um, let me show you guys really quickly. So their Black Friday sale, which we have here, excuse my dirty phone, but um, you can buy three cents from $69, 20% off, four for 80, from $81, 30% off, five from 87, 40% off, six from 95 dollars 45 percent off um but anyways a lot of their fragrances like just by themselves are really cheap right now um their 49 dollar scents are 26 dollars their 39 cent their 39 dollar scents are um 21 and their 29 dollar 
uh, perfumes are $15. So the $15 ones are really good. Like I said, I have a bunch of perfumes by Dossier because uh, I've been working with them for a while, but I do really, really like them. And everybody that um, I let try out these do also really, really love them. And they also just smell exactly like the actual perfume. So yeah, I definitely recommend you going to check them out. I will leave everything linked down below where you can check them out and definitely go um, take advantage of their Black Friday sale because it's a really good deal. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. So I'm starting off with the this coconut water moisturizer um, by Palmer's. I also use the lip balm that has SPF 15 in it. This is what I do to kind of prep my skin before I do my makeup. But obviously before that, I wash my face. So yeah, I've also been wearing my extensions lately. Really been loving this look, so yeah um we're gonna go ahead and start off with this elf poreless putty primer i love this primer so good um super good drugstore primer kind of gives you like a filter effect um but anyways i put this all over my face except my like nose area because i find that it tends to break up throughout the day if i put it on my nose area so yeah and then i'm going in with the milani um three-in-one foundation this has been one of my favorite foundations i stopped using it for a while but i recently started back up it's super full coverage super affordable drugstore foundation i love it it's one of my go-to's um but yeah um i am just putting this all over my face obviously um during this video i probably look like a psychopath the this is like super just need to trust the process um i also use the beauty blender to um blend it all in but anyways yeah just trust the process i know i look crazy but it all comes together in the end so yeah um but anyways this is just me putting on my foundation I'm going in with my NYX eyebrow pencil, um, one of my favorites, again, go to... I also use this NYX full coverage concealer for carving out my brows. I use the Shade and Light eyeshadow palette uh, for the black eyeshadow um, to fill in my eyebrows, but yeah. Um, I'm not going to really explain the whole process of how I do my brows. This is always like a changing thing for me. Um, but anyways, I basically just like outline my brows with the pencil first and then I will go in with the eyeshadow and fill them in with a like angled brush. Um, but anyways, my eyebrows I think have been messed up since I bleached them or since I like shaved the ends off. I don't know, but they have like my natural eyebrows have just been not great lately, so... Yeah, and then I go in with the um, concealer and I carve out only underneath the brow. If I need to carve out the top, I use some of my foundation, leftover foundation. And then I take a kind of like buffer brush and blend out the concealer. And this is what my brows look like. They're super uneven, but you know just gotta go with it um and then i'm taking this elf concealer which i love it's one of my favorites again um it is a dupe for the tarte shape tape but i use it as a eyeshadow primer um to start doing my eyeshadow i love it this really works for me i know this might not work for everybody but it really does work for me then i'm going in with this brown eyeshadow by from this morphe palette i'm not sure what the name of the palette is i think it's like 350m palette but yeah um i've basically been just like doing this brown kind of like winged out eyeshadow look um and then i go in and do eyeliner but yeah this is basically the shape i've been doing kind of like winging it out making my eyes look super like lifted and longer and bigger than they really are um again like i said just this is like a trust the process thing the eyeshadow looks 
not great right now but once the eyeliner goes on it starts to look really good so i've been doing like a straight eyeliner um thing recently um i basically just kind of like look directly in the mirror so that i can get it really straight and make my eyes look super lifted and long um because i do have like downturn eyes i believe and i also have hooded eyes so it's like super hard for me to do all of that but anyways i'm going in with concealer and next um i put it underneath the eyes and then i put some on the nose because that is where i'm going to start my contour for my nose and i just blend everything out with the beauty blender um and yeah i know it looks crazy but you know it's just like a lot of blending out as well i try to blend everything out really well um i'm going in with this flesh um like it's a foundation stick pretty much i got it from dollar tree and these are the brushes i use to um do my nose contour i know like my nose contour is probably super controversial for a lot of people <laughs> it's like super extreme but this is how i like it i don't care what anybody thinks um it makes my nose look like I have a nose job when I don't. I need one, but <laughs> your girl can afford that. So this will have to do for now. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, I just start off by making like two straight lines really close together. And then I start blending it out as much as I can. Um, and yeah, I just blend it out. If you guys want like a super in-depth tutorial, let me know. But I just blend it out i use some leftover concealer to kind of blend it out as well and then i go in and set everything with my fit me maybelline powder um another one of my all-time favorites um and i kind of just like bake underneath my um eyes and then i do baking on the nose as well and then i go in with this lower yell um powder and I kind of just set the rest of my face. I use some of the Maybelline to also set the rest of my face. I don't do like my whole face. I kind of just do parts where I get super oily or I really need it to be set. Um, I'm going to go in with this um, mascara. Everybody always asks me what mascara I use. I literally don't use mascara for the purpose of what it is intended. I just use it to like blend my eyelashes. So I just have this random wet and wild mascara i don't know um and then now i'm going to go ahead and do some um like inner corner wing type thing to make my eyes just look very sultry i guess i don't know um i just really love this look and yeah then I go in and do my lashes. Um, these lashes are from Walmart. That's basically where I get my lashes. Always, everybody always asks me where I get my lashes. Walmart or Dollar Tree, that's usually where I get them. Um, and then I'm gonna go in and do my bottom lashes. Again, it's kind of the same mascara. I just use some random Wet n Wild mascaras. Nothing fancy. And then I go in with this NYX um, waterproof eyeliner. I don't know what it's called. It has a super long name. It's like glide on, slide on, something, something, something. I don't know. But um, I really like this uh, eyeliner. And then we're going in the, with the Bahama Mama um, contour bronzer powder. Um these are the two brushes I use. I use some to do my cheekbone contour and then I also go in and do a little bit more of um, nose contouring to kind of darken it up a little bit. And then I go in with this Too Faced Love Light um, highlight and I just highlight my nose. And this is my favorite lip combo ever. This is um, Milani Lip Pencil and uh what is it called matte lipstick um yeah this is like my secret thing it always pulls everything together so well and i just love how it looks on me the color is like the best color ever it matches every single thing um but yeah 
this is my like everyday routine that i've been doing for the past two weeks i hope you guys liked it kind of followed along i know it was like super quick but uh that's what i love about it it's like super quick easy to do and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what other videos you want me to do. I know you guys want me to do a room tour. Some people want me to do a room tour. I will do that soon. But let me know what other kind of videos you guys want to see. Don't forget to follow me. TikTok, Instagram, everywhere like that. Everything is always listed down below. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.